Let's go to work. Have a good day. Johnny, Shaquille, Al, Brandon, have a good day. My name is Brandon Logan. My goal was to work at U.S. Chicago Benson. Well, I do is clean up the bathrooms, the office, the stairs, the lobbies. Brandon is a student that we had here for two years. He has done remarkable. He's so proud of what he does. My name is Joshua Long. I'm the principal at Southside Occupational Academy. All of our students have disabilities. With the students that we have in our school, um, we tend to look at their abilities, not their disability. So kind of my big goal for my students is to assist them in becoming as independent as possible upon graduation. So the University of Chicago Medicine is an anchor institution on the south side of Chicago. So one of the things that we do is involve ourselves in the community and work with, uh, with the assets that are on the south side in our neighborhoods to help improve health. The Southside Occupational Academy is a school that does great work with young adults that are an important part of our community. Great job yesterday, buddy. Good job. Good morning, Aubrey. How are you? Good. The University of Chicago Medicine has been wonderful in opening their doors to Southside Occupational Academy and allowing our students and myself and my team to come in here and train and work with these kids daily and help them become as independent as possible and learn low entry level skills. Good morning. You always have to remember, always be on time, um, always be groomed, nice. Um, high, good hygiene, um, and always positive attitude. They are so happy to be here. The smiles on their faces when they come into work every day. Have your IDs on, sign in, and get ready to work. I think the prepping at the school definitely played a benefit here. We have created environments across our school that are realistic learning environments. We have a cafe, we have a culinary arts room, we have a, a simulated grocery store, a laundry room, and a dish room. We even have a one bedroom apartment in our school. So at the beginning, when a student enters Southside Occupational Academy, they take classes that are highly structured and solely focused on essential skills that students will need once they get to an internship. Do we have our wet floor sign if we're going? In the bathrooms, do we have a wet floor sign, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Check it off. It does pay off because it teaches them discipline in the workplace. When they come here, they're very disciplined, they're very courteous, they do communicate well with the manager or supervisor. Those are skills that obviously have been taught in the program. So today we're going to work on completing our tasks on time. And what's the most important thing when you, to, in order to complete your task on time? What do you really have to do? You have to stay, think, think. Get, stay yes. focused, stay focused, and think. There were reservations from our HR department and uh, other departments wondering how the students would fit in if they were going to take jobs from our union employees and just the logistics things that go along with starting a program up like this. So we did everything we could communications wise to, to strip some of that concern away that this is a program that is employment training but incredibly important to our community and to the young people who are participating in it. Hello, welcome to UC Medicine. How may we help you? I like saying good morning to everyone and I like how the people say good morning back. They are in food services, they are serving patients, they are helping our staff members, they are working with food all day long, they're cleaning the tables, they are helping clean the patient rooms, the floors, 
the lobbies. They are actually helping provide the services that we need done every single day. These young men and women brighten our lives every day. Uh, and not just the employees that work here, also the patients, because they're so visible. They have always seen our students for who they are and looked at their abilities and helped them overcome their disability. Hi, Skibby. Brandon's amazing. He gets it, he understands it. It's not just a task, it's not just someone doing their job. He's actually doing it because he knows it's gonna mean something. He was hired at the end of last year along with three other students. And I think his pride and his ability to really take his job seriously just, you know, he's an inspiration to me personally. Well, the day I found I got a job, I did cry a little bit, y'all, just, just let y'all know. I was, I was, it was happy tears. I was so proud I got the job at University of Colorado Manson. Sometimes y'all see me working hard. I'm working hard so I do a good job, make, make the boss proud, and, and make, make my principal very proud of me. Without Sherry Iverson, without Jason Keeler, our COO, without Sharon O'Keefe, the president, none of this would have been possible. I think you'll find if you open your eyes, open your hearts to these young men and women that they will make your organization better because they've definitely made our organization better. When businesses are questioning whether or not a program like this is doable, my advice to them is just to think about starting very small because we really do have the expertise and the staff and most importantly we have the students available to be able to support businesses in, in doing these kinds of endeavors. It's a must. It's a must. We have so many students out there that need this. They need this program. They need the training. We have the capability of providing that training. Why not? Why not? Why not reach out and do that? You know, I was able to think about what our students were going to do, and I knew they would be successful, and I hoped that some of them would get jobs. Brandon is such a proud moment for all of us to think about, but then to think about how some of the other people here at the hospital have talked about how our students have touched their lives and how they've, you know, changed the environment here within the hospital or how patients have responded that, you know, they were helped out by one of the students in a blue shirt. I mean, that's just, it's overwhelming.